it's me from Scare Hollow, Troy. And I just wanted to tell everybody that it's Halloween time. We're less than 24 hours away. Did that trip you out? It tripped me out because I can see myself in the camera. Anyways, uh, so it is almost Halloween, like 15, 16 hours to go. And so I wanted to show everybody a little bit more of the actual walkthrough of the haunt at night. And then um, I keep saying I'm going to take daytime pictures, but I don't. And I also kept saying that we were going to put moss on the pillars. We put moss on the pillars. I'll show you in a minute. Anyways, um, so I'll show you some new stuff and we'll try to get through this quickly. And uh, then, uh, yeah, we'll go rest. I know, what's rest to a haunter? Anyways, um, just not building something for 10 minutes. Anyways, so here we go. So my wife made these. I wasn't around in 1800, but that's when our Halloween haunt was made anyways. And so we have that. So as you walk up to our facility, our cemetery, you have our cemetery sign, which is super, super cool. And... Uh, Ooh, creepy eyes up there on the window yeah and you have our cemetery sign which is backlit and everything we have our cool cemetery gates and we have here lies the builders of the hollow in case you can't read anyways and um so yes this is my driveway and so as you walk up the driveway you see my new my new uh stale prey I call him and he's the stale prey of my spider which you still can't see i didn't light him very well this year i didn't I don't know, I'm still working on it, but he's our spider. Ooh, kind of an ode to uh, Raina from Haunted Garden. Uh, she uh, kind of will help me and walk me through a little bit of the making the legs. Look at these legs. Oh, they're so creepy. Oh, they're so bumpy. Anyways, and so we have our prey, and then we have another prey, which is a little more fresher because it still has clothes on. Ooh, creepy. And our creepy tree and everything. My wife put uh, an egg sack. So it's gonna have babies, hint, hint. For 2014, it's gonna have more spiders. So we have our cemetery, we have Alice Payne, and we have Sarah and Jeremiah Binks. For all you Hocus Pocus fans out there. And we have Drusilla Eldridge and Barnabas Eldridge. They're nice little things. That was a cat. Yeah. And, our, and our new little skeleton guy. And then Lazarus Holmes, pumpkin. Frankenstein. And back over here is, uh, for all you track fans out there from Hotel Transylvania. And we have our famous lady. She's got quite a creak to her. Anyways, there's our logo. Ooh, yeah, scare hollow. Ooh, and fog. It's my feeble attempt at a fog chiller. I think I'm done with a fog chiller. I think I'm just gonna buy one from Froggies. Anyways, um, and we have Captain Ichabod who died the other night. Well, in 1810, but we had a funeral for him the other night. And so, yes, that is our graveyard. I'll pan back out here and you can see, ooh, graveyard. Lit by two awesome LEDs. First time using LEDs. We have our cool pillars. $2 at uh, Walmart, or at uh, uh, Goodwill. And then the pillars we got a couple years ago at Goodwill. And so then you walk up and you first look up and you go, oh, that is an eyeball. On take one of this thing, the eyeball was up there too. But look, we didn't get the flameage from our smokestack. It's not real flame, it's smoke with a light in there, but it still looks like flameage. And um, so, because I didn't turn off the video or the sound for Halloween Hellmouth's live feed that's on right now on their YouTube page, um, you'll hear some screams inside our funeral room, which is right here. But I'll show you this guy first because he's really cool. And uh, I know I showed him this, showed you guys the other night, but. And so he's our caretaker with his cool flickering lamp. His cool hands. Oh, and I forgot. We have moss. I forgot. Moss, moss, moss. Moss. Oh, moss. Wood Village is taking quite care of the moss now. It's moved all my moss around. And we look, we have more moss up by our lights. And we have moss. See, Wood Village just, it gets really windy here. That's what broke my, my cross. But see, we did, we, did, we did a good job of fixing. So now we have our funeral room with our casket. It's very cool, it's got a flashing light in there. And then, oh, 
my dead ex-girlfriend. Anyways, um, I'm probably gonna have to edit that out because probably one of them will be like, oh, it's me. And uh, so you can hear the little shock, shock thing from Halloween Hellmouth's uh, live feed. There it is again. So we have our cool lamp, and we have oh, drop panel. Da, 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 da. Anyways, and we have another cool lamp with, with, whoa. Screaming, screaming. And there's a fog machine down there, see? Boom, boom. And so this fills up with fog. And you've got the cool morning bench. This is our dining room table bench. And so that's that's the funeral room. The drop panel is, is that, obviously. And that will drop with me behind it. And we'll have somebody in the coffin as well. And so then they walk around here and see our cool, ooh, scatty pumpkin man. And ooh, Hulk smash. Supposedly it's supposed to be his face. But I think it's his face and his fist. I don't know. Anyways. My wife does good. And we have our cellar door. Which will be working tomorrow night. It's just, it's super loud. And it bangs. It, the doors bang open real hard and stuff. And, be, and there's fog in there and everything. And we have our boarded up foam windows. Because I love foam windows. That was one of my new things this year. And then our front door. Yeah, nondescript. I think I may put some cobwebs up there. I got more work to do now. Anyways, so, I'm going to give everybody a little taste. So that is our, uh, that is our haunt. We're very proud of it. And I just wanted to let you all know that that's, uh, that's what we're going to do this year. Next year, we're probably going to add the garage into it, and it'll be super cool. So, or I already added the garage. God, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do three takes, so we're just going to go with this one now. And uh, so we'll probably incorporate the um, driveway and we'll cover it and make a walk through haunt through their part. So we'll add, we'll add a couple more rooms and uh, go from there. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and uh, save the haunted garden. Can't believe they're going to try to shut them down for good because it's for the kids, man. So evidently, maybe Raina might be for hire. So whoever gets her, you're gonna be lucky if she can't do that haunt anymore. But uh, we need to keep her, keep her in our thoughts and uh, fight on, haunt on. And uh, so we will uh, be watching that closely. So I'm gonna go watch more of Halloween Hellmouth's live feed since it's back up. And I want to give a shout out to my wife who took care of our kids and myself because I'm a kid and the house and did all the stuff around here for the last couple months and uh, my other um, haunter third I guess because I'm a third my wife's a third and Amy Richards is my other third and she has helped us out a ton I know that doesn't add up to a whole don't send me little emails um, I'm really bad at math and so uh, they both have helped tremendously on getting this done so um I will uh, bid you all adieu. Me and uh, caretaker. Well, that didn't work at all, did it? Oh, there we go. We say goodbye. <laughs>